come into town from the railroad, did you? Yes. Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. Well, the zombies followed us into town from the railroad. Well, I mean, didn't you see for? the end of go, episode go. three? The zombies were following the train. Where's Ben? I'm trying to save you, Ben. Come on, let's oh, there go. He is. That is really loud, though. If you've been near a bell when it rings, it just like wait, what? Whoa, where'd that guy come from? What? Where is there a guy hanging from the bell? Well, I don't. What? Doesn't make any sense at all. I've got you. Man, a lot of people work to save lots. Climb up. Come on, you can do it. I'm ready to press Q. There's no time. You have to go now. You are living, Ben. Ben, come on. Let go, damn it. Get the others out of here. No, you are living. You are coming with me. You could not hold on to him that long. He probably weighs 100 and maybe 40 pounds. You are not dying on my watch, buddy. No, 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 no. No! Come on, come on. Save him, save him. Pull him up, pull him up. You're the only one I like, Ben. You can't die. I like you more than I like Lee. Because you remind me of me, that's why. He would have just ripped your arm out of its socket hang onto it like that. Hey, she shot it like I told her. Clementine. Good girl. But how'd that thing get in there? You made it back. Told you I would. Oh, your voice. Did you find my parents? No. No, we didn't. Sorry, sweet pea. I look for them. Clementine, what happened here? When one of those things got inside, it tried to get upstairs. I stopped it. Upstairs? I see that. Oh, me. I it hate you, Krista. Real good. Hey, what do you say we go check on Omi? Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me. What about him? He's sleeping, obviously. Clementine, when did you last check on him? Like an hour ago. Oh. He was awake then. He was fine. So he's probably just sleeping. He. Why don't you try, you I know, left you. checking I'm his so pulse? Krista, get away from him. Shaking him. <clears throat> yeah, he's obviously fine. Hey. Back already? We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. Not gonna have any water with that? You okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Should have left him behind when we had the chance. No, Lee, we should I leave you behind. What happened out there? Not Lee, I'm sorry, Kenny. Else tell you. I don't like either of them. They're both just the same to me, so I I, I, I can't tell them apart. You should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on them. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Oh, an automobile, an airplane, guns, um, a unicorn. That'd be cool. You and me to have a little talk in private. I wanted to thank you for all you've done for us. You're welcome. I'm glad Bree will have died for something meaningful. Nothing is meaningful. Protons of Half-Life, remember? Part. What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? Uh, I, I don't know. When I lost my daughter. When I lost it depends my who you are in your situation, how much now, adrenaline you have in your blood, I don't I know. just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. No, I don't Anyone really. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, 
Do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Yes. Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What's she going to do? Stay in Savannah? What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands. Take her back with me to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And hmm. now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left. And she to wouldn't from uh, bother She'll me be anymore. Safe with us. Safer than she will be if she yeah, stays okay. with you. I promise you. I don't like That's Clementine. What you want sure. For her, isn't Take her away, be please. Safe. I guess you have a point. I just want what's best for her. Whatever that means. I think you already know what it means, Lee. I want you to think about some things. Okay. I think I already agreed. You're a good man, Lee. You've been protecting these people as best you can so far, and they look up to you. Rightly so. But it's different with a child. Not no, you might not have really. Brought her this far, but sooner or later she might ask you for more than you can give her. Like I'm sorry what? if that's hard to hear, but it's the truth. I appreciate it, Vernon. Let me think about it, okay? You do that. I already thought about it. I said yes. Please take her. Can you go right now and take her so I never see her again? Please. She has an annoying voice, and I don't like her very much. Can I go talk to Ben? I like Ben. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, what? I just wanted to say that. I thought you were gonna go with us on the boat. Everything. It's been fun. You probably should. You are very useful and agile and right now. stuff. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. It sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You could replace Kenny. You sure about I am this? totally okay with that. I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Mm, okay. Listen, I'm not much for goodbye. Maybe you should uh, start farming. Are the others for me. Sure. Take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. You almost killed me. Can you can you do it again, except this time without the almost? And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. So Molly likes me now because I did not bring up the subject of her promiscuity with the doctor. And you see, that's really none of my business. That's why I didn't mention it. So, nice. Molly likes me. Kenny's Normally well, though, most people confront her about it and then what at that part she's all like, meh, well, finally, season? bye, meh. We go? Not, not quite like that. But I, I didn't listen to her um, question at all. I was oh, talking well, at the moment. I didn't read the subtitles, so I'll just pick the first option. What's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. Uh, he'll forget. Because the chemicals in his brain will... Benton you know... Kid. Dissipate. He's just feeling guilty about some of the decisions he's made. He's getting to feeling like he's a burden on the rest of us. He's the best you one. He's great. I like Ben. Will we have time to look for my parents? No. We can't, Clem. I'm sorry. They are dead. They're in Crawford somewhere. They have to be. No, they're dead. I know you don't want to give up on him. But Crawford's just like every other place now. If your parents are there, they won't be like you remember them. They won't remember you at all. Yes, they are dead. <laughs> don't cry. Please do not cry. I hate the sound of crying. It's so annoying. How did crying evolve? What sort of evolutionary advantage does crying give you? Making you unable to see and making you pathetically weak and having all these convulsions. I mean, what what good does that do? Uh, apparently, somehow, that survived in our species. Time lapse sometime later. Clementine. Clementine. 
one time. Oh, this again. Him running around saying, Clementine? 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 Clementine! Oh, this again. God. Oh, hey, it was, uh, it was an old lady with crazy hair. Right? Like, uh, what's her name? Joanna? Donna? What was her name? From Save Lots? Eh, uh, whatever. Why would it have so much feedback? Where would where, where would that feedback originate? It's probably like a dog or something. It's gonna leap out and scare us. Q Q Q Q Q. Whoa 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 whoa. whoa. So. If the infection is spread through bites, how is it not spread through contact with blood? Because you've been soaked in zombie blood many times. Oh. Oh. No. 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 Fuck. Lee? Well, Lee? time for suicide. Maybe you should, uh, maybe you should enjoy it, you know? You get to be with the Shambling Hordes, get to be immortal. It'll be fun. Crazy. What are you doing out here? Probably shouldn't it's hide safe. it. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon Probably the best to just let them know. Maybe they'll help the you kill yourself. Going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? Uh, no. she has many times. No How is there no way? She does that all the time. Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is. Well, no, we can trust him just fine. I told him, yes, take her, so we took her. What do you mean? How, how is that not trustworthy? I don't know what to do here. I don't even know if I can ask for your help. Lee, we're a team. That's how we've made it this far. We're not going to just abandon you. Well, uh, no. okay. Especially now. You've earned that much. Damn straight. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Okay. Oh, yeah. What are we waiting for? Let's go, I guess. Yes. I appreciate Going on a trip in my favorite rocket ship. Come on, guys. I'll be the pilot. Kenny, you can just go die. I don't really care about you. You know I care about Clementine, and I am a Christian man. And I keep asking myself, if this was me, if this were me, you for help, subjective asking case. you to put your life on the line, would you be there for me? Nope. Has there been plenty of times when you ain't been? Yeah. You know what, Kenny? Go fuck yourself. I've wanted to say that this whole time. Die because I didn't have your back every damn minute. You should grow the fuck up. <laughs> Do whatever you want, asshole. Lee, I know you think you and me might have been on the same page a few times lately. But the way I see it, you've never really had my back. Okay. Right from the beginning, you were never looking out for me and mine. I not don't like you. Me. So pardon me if I'm not bending over backwards to help you and yours now. You are stupid. You never but help, you, ever. I don't know. Whatever you think is best. You should come with us. Because I can't trust Kenny, he'll probably try and kill you. She always had a kind no, seriously, he will probably strangle you. You do not stay with Kenny. Don't you think you owe it to her to help? You're right. I owe her. I swear, before this is all over, I'm gonna show you I can do something right. I'll prove it to you. You'll ah, see. and now he has a reason for existing. A character on, arc. Guys, let's go. He's trying to redeem himself. Bye, Kenny. You suck. I don't like you. Why did you? Why would you even bother putting the sign back up?
I see they took all the food. Probably in his magical back pocket. Well, of course they're gone. Vernon said he was going to take Clementine. I said, okay, that's fine. So he took her. Where the hell are they? It, it makes perfect sense. Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Why? Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. But you already said yes, you can take her. That is a dirty floor. How is he not already a zombie? You remember Brenda, the fat lady from episode 2? She was bitten by Mark and she became a zombie in about, what, four or five minutes? So I don't really see how he's not a zombie yet. Yeah, they're zombies. You've, you've seen them before, right? I mean, this is no surprise. How does that thing still work? You Don't you have to change the batteries? Also, why does it never rain? Turn in, you son of a bitch. Hi, Glenn. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. It's it's Glenn. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Ah, oh, cliffhanger. So we already know it's Glenn because he had the walkie-talkie. Ob I mean, it was obvious. Who else could it be? Unless he like gave the walkie-talkie for somebody. I don't know why he would do that. Oh yeah, the boy in the attic. I remember that. Yeah, I killed him. Well, yeah. Why would I threaten him? He would. He was going to kill me. Of course, I did not threaten Vernon. Uh, I didn't mean Clementine, because she would be uh, a very massive burden. She'd be a liability and probably get us all killed. I say Ben because he's great. And I uh, revealed the bite because, well... I mean, you couldn't keep it hidden forever, so you might as well show it earlier. When everyone's all calm, because the next time you have a chance to show it, everyone might be, you know, all screaming and yelling and very very excited with lots of adrenaline and it would be a very unpleasant experience for everyone. Anyway, this has been the episode episode 4 of The Walking Dead and I hope you will join me for episode 5 where I can finally finish this very, very long Let's Play. This is a lot more boring than I thought it would be. Anyway, goodbye everyone. Uh, what? I, uh, huh? What is this? I've never seen this screen before. I don't recognize it. Most people were Lee, well, the majority would be Lee and Kenny. Or, sorry, yeah, Lee and Kenny. What, what, why would that be? You see, I know a guy named Kenny, and he's black, so it's very confusing for me, because I think the black guy's name is Kenny, and he's not Kenny. In fact, the guy I know named Kenny even kind of looks like that, so it's, it's very confusing for me. Hmm. Just Ben and Lee? Really, I didn't even know that was possible. Interesting. Anyway, see you all next time.